Howard students expressing concern over the police brutality in Jamia and the Aligarh Muslim University. Students and affiliates of the Howard University have now written an open letter to the Indian government condemning the violent suppression of student protests. They go on to write, and I quote from the letter now, we the students are affiliated and affiliated and affiliates of the Harvard University write in affirmation of the protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act 2019 of India in deep condemnation of the violence uh, being unfolded on them. The, we affirm protest, condemn violent suppression of the students, suppression of student protests in Aligarh Muslim University, the Jamia Millia Islamia University and elsewhere. Independent of the debate on the Citizenship Amendment Act, we emphasize that the protest and dissent are inherent to democracy. Protests are inconvenient and disruptive, but they su must sustain the secular and democratic fabric of our nation. The violent suppression of protests by police, the use of tear gas, lati charge and physical assault in response to peaceful dissent and the police forces forceful entry into the university campuses and consequent internet blockades, they are deeply reprehensible. We reiterate that political engagement is not an impediment to democracy, rather it breathes democracy. India won its independence in the face of repression and brutality through peaceful protest. The Gandhian ideal of Ahinsa is thus rooted in the very fabric of society. We call upon protesters and law enforcement authorities alike to abide by it. Further, it goes on to say, we stress that a Citizenship Amendment Act 2019 itself is a deeply regrettable act of legislation. It is a violation of Article 14 of the Constitution of India that calls for equal protection under the law for all persons. Further, it is also in violation of the spirit of India as, iman as imagined by the leaders like Gandhi, Nehru, Sarojini Raidu, B. R. Ambedkar and Maulana Azad. Religion cannot be the determinant of nationhood and citizenship cannot be a tool of ethnic violence. By pushing religiously bad narrative on immigrants and refugees, the act protects non-Muslim minorities of neighboring states at the cost of Muslim migrants and refugees.